continuing on with spots to hit here in the Key Burgers Poblacion area. There are a couple of sports bars. If you're not into the club, loud music, bumping, sort of after party scene, you can always hit one of these sports bars. And one of the best looking new spots. Unbelievable. Manila is like the loudest city on earth, man. One of the best looking new spots in and around this area is the remodeled or the renovated fire sports bar right here on Pea Burgers. I haven't been in there yet, but it just looks sharp. Not just party bars, although that's kind of what I've been showing you. You got little out of the way spots like this, Shooter Sports Bar. It's right off Kalayan Avenue near Pea Burgers and it's low key. You want a low key spot, this is the spot. The token billiards bar looks like it's seen better days, but uh, it's another really chill spot. You guys should go in there, you play to pay pool, a couple beers, very low key. But if you're looking to play pool and not like deal with the whole hustler and sign up at the table kind of thing, that's a good spot to hit. And as you can see, like Korean places, Sam Jipsaw places, Persian food places, Turkish, Indian food, like just down on Makati Avenue, there's just a ton of spots. I didn't even, I didn't even like get anywhere near them. Just walking around, checking out some of these night spots. Lots to do in Makati. Good spot, good area. Kind of a new spot here in Pablas, and it's definitely a sports bar vibe. It's small, it's chill, it's got some big screens, air conditioning. Can't tell if it's called Crossroads or Mother India. But it's a chill spot. You want to go out catch a game, have a few drinks, beers, whatever, and not have to deal with the party scene. Manila, one in the morning. The Pure Vita Reggae Lounge is popping. Lux is probably popping. Secret Door. Not sure if it's popping yet, but goddamn guaranteed to be popping later. No doubt, that's the after hour spot. This is Kalaya Ann, not even a block from Burgos. And it's just like a mob scene. There's 10 or 20 bars within a four block radius and people are just migrating left and right. morning. Oh, here's my peeps. What up? Hi. Hi. Welcome to Manila. That's right. That's what we're calling this. Welcome right. to Manila. Yeah, welcome Second to Manila. Second time in the Philippines, first time in Manila. Now we're heading to the nightclub. Table 
Is in the 1947 Chevrolet tonight. They're all so fucking hot. Wow, are you going to be This place is just off the chain, Americano. Look at this. Look at this fat ride. Unbelievable. Great is that they have the table set up inside the fat Model T rides. Any idea? It's like sensory overload. Colonel Sanders, and he looks like crazy ass Chinese. Quesadilla. American Sleep breakfast. Now. You got it, good. Filipino bongos breakfast. Why does the Another Filipino breakfast. breakfast. Oh my yeah. god. Filling station. Oh, synagogue. Hadi's saying goodnight to Hadi's. Sending them home in the grab. Boom. Friday night, bar hopping in Manila. It's about one in the morning. Hit Alibi tonight with a couple of bros. Well, one bro and a couple of babes. But, we had a good time in there. It wasn't too packed, it wasn't too bumping yet. It's still early, it's only one in the morning. But there was some organic action going on, if you know what I mean. Right next to the social, across from Polilia, which I was featuring in a video a week or two ago, is the Khao Kai Thai Chicken House. It doesn't look like much, but come to think of it, neither did the other Thai restaurant. This is the second little hole in the wall Thai restaurant I found here in Poblacion Makati, across from Moors, next to the Social or Cabrones. And I was featuring both those, well, I didn't feature more. it's a strip club. <laughs> I was featuring Polilia and uh, the Social the other day. So, Manila. Five in the morning. Why five in the morning? Well, that's normal. But tonight, special. And this is the H&J Sports Club. England versus France World Cup. World Cup is huge here. But the game didn't start till three in the morning, so five in the morning. Game's over. So we're gonna hit the next spot. Boom! My new bro. We're talking like what leftist woke ass culture calls toxic masculinity in the house. Exactly. Toxic fucking, fucking masculinity. Love mate. it, baby. Your fucking arms are much yeah. bigger than mine, so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't do that. But yeah. Thank you, thank you. Oh, no. can I have a uh, cappuccino as well? Cappuccino. Cappuccino, yeah. Cappuccino. Thank you, thank you. I think it might be like eight in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's proper daylight, isn't it? It was a way. Is that girl going to be still waiting uh, when no, we go she'll, outside? She'll be, yeah, she'll still be there. Well, anyway, it was a way as crazy beyond late night. And that means refueling at the filling station with my bro. <laughs> my new bro. I love this guy. Back at the Thai restaurant. Oh my god. Hello. And this is where I think 
Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe.